why do I think XRP will make me a multi-million or could be a billionaire? Because of central bank digital currency. And I know a lot of people have different feelings on CBDCs, but let me show you some facts and let's go through this. 130 countries representing 98% of the global GDP are exploring CBDCs, right? James Wallace from Ripple has already said Ripple is working with over 30 central banks. 130 countries are working on it and Ripple is working with up to 30 central banks, right? That is like one fifth of the total amount of central banks Ripple is working with, okay? Well, you have to understand that if a central bank decides to use a CBDC in their country, they might end up using that same type of platform for their infrastructure, for their stock market, their bond market, their derivative market, all of that value can be transacted through cryptocurrency and eventually will be. If you listen to Larry Fink, he's saying that the future of the stock bond derivative market, that is all going to be on blockchain. Okay. And I do think they're going to use the most widely uh, used cryptocurrency that is being tested by central banks and used by central banks. Okay. <laughs> Let me show you some XRP news. Ripple CBDC platform is said to have, have the required features for mass adoption as it leads the ecosystem to massive transformation. We need consistent framework for regulation. Regulation is something that has to happen and has to come in for, in order for this to really work and explode. I do not think you're going to see global regulation for crypto in 2024. I do think in the United States, you're going to see a CBDC bill you're going to see a stable coin bill and you are going to see a wholesale cbdc that banks can use to transact money jp morgan hsbc all of these big banks are going to do whatever they can to slow this down because they make billions of dollars in fees every single year by transacting and when you use cryptocurrency that is going to take a whole lot of money away from them. And that's why they're trying to do as much as they can to pause. But in the background, they're adopting the technology because they know if they don't adopt the technology, they will not be around in a few years from now. This video is brought to you by CryptoFights.pro. Predict and win. They do have a Certic audit. What you're doing here is you're betting against other people if Bitcoin is going to go up or down. They actually have a really cool section on how to play if you want to access that. They do have weekly and monthly jackpot giveaways. As you can see, they have paid over 436 million dollars which is pretty insane in the last 24 hours wins paid over 2 million uh, they have a really cool video on kind of how things work here uh, table comparison gaming crypto fight stop pro and finance you have a 50 percent win ratio we wait when you have a 50 percent win ratio auto payment connect wallet uh, as you can see this is comparing gaming and finance and uh, you have I guess a better winning and then here's your leaderboard basically the top people that have won uh, this wallet has done the best win ratio of 49 percent total trades and wins of 1700 damn this person has 19,000 trades and win 55 percent win rate which is pretty insane like I said, they do have these weekly jackpots and monthly jackpots. And here's some key benefits. Number one, best win ratio, no deposit, play peer to peer, win and go your earnings direct and personal to your wallet. The smart contract that manages is fully audited and verified by the best company in the industry, which is Certic. And then you can also join their affiliate family if you so do so. I will leave a link down in the description of this video if you want to check out Crypto Fight. Pro. Um, this is actually a pretty cool thing. Uh, this is talking about a bridge to currencies in three seconds with one fixed FX rate, XRP in the middle. Sender requests a fiat to fiat quote pricing in FX. Sender receives and approves quote with pre-negotiated FX margin and receiver via Ripple's platform, right? And then you have XRP in the middle and then you have the receiver immediately gets paid out, right? This is the future of how money is going to move around the planet. And XRP is going to be used in a massive way. You also see this today. Zoink, I, Zoink Inc. Inc. Is the Ripple part uh, is is partnering with Ripple 
to bring multi-asset tokenization onto the XRP ledger. This partnership aims to revolutionize asset tokenization on the XRPL, making it efficient, accessible, and liquid in the digital asset market. This is what we need, right? Being able to tokenize uh, buildings, businesses, right? Real estate, debt, that is all where this value is going to come from. This is how we get to a $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 XRP. It won't be because me and you decide to put in a few thousand dollars or a hundred thousand or even a million dollars in XRP. That's not where the real price discovery is going to come from. It's going to come from all of this value being tokenized and brought onto the ledger. You also have TerraPay, Ripple Payments, UPI India plus BRICS. This partnership intends to enable Indian customers and merchants in India with an active UPI ID to make and accept cross-border payments seamlessly by leveraging TerraPay's agile infrastructure and the UPI network, which is used by XRP. All right, you have to pay attention to this. Also, XRP ETF and Ripple IPI, uh, excuse me, IPO could send XRP price to 50 bucks. When it comes to an IPO, you know who has to approve an IPO? It's the SEC. And until all of this court stuff is figured out, you're not going to get a Ripple IPO. Now, if you see, if you see the, if you finally see the case being settled, or if you see a new person that's coming in to replace Gary Gensler that wants to settle the, this case finally and get this thing behind us, that is really when you should be focused on a possible IPO. But right now, it's not happening because you still have this litigation going on, right? India, ICIC Bank, top provider in the APAC, Ripple client, the bank boasts a suite of more than 600 banking APIs that are used in various industries, including e-commerce, travel, real estate, and fintech. And check us out, banking as a service, also known as BAS, right? All of this can be transformed with cryptocurrency, right? And it's not BNB, it's not going to be Ethereum, it's not going to be Bitcoin, it's going to be what central banks are going to use. That is what you need to be focused on for the long term. I don't think you're going to see a $10,000 XRP in 2024. Unless the entire banking system collapses, which I'm going to do another video on. When you have the UK, Japan, the Eurozone, you have a lot of these countries, right, Germany, th these are all in recession right now. And I do think the US might be headed for something like that, right? It's very hard to see the rest of the world being in a recession without the US getting there. But it is an election year and election years tend to be a little bit weird. You might see rates being dropped later this year. Uh, the US has to refinance $7.6 trillion worth of debt. Uh, and to do that at this price, at this interest rate, it's, it's going to be pretty impossible. But this is really what you're going to see as a new financial system. Only nine countries in the world have published their national blockchain roadmap, right? Only nine countries, right? Out of hundreds, you need global adoption if you're going to make this work on a massive scale. UK, we are working with, with, with Quant, they're working with Ripple, and we are going to see a digital pound probably powered by XRP. India, Germany, United Arab Emirates, we know they're very bullish on XRP. Republic of Ireland, Estonia, Australia, Bangladesh, and Nigeria, right? Man, it, it is getting really, really exciting, but it is taking some time. Future of cross-border payments. As you can see, the present and future of cross-border payments, 150 trillion, let me just zoom in on this. Current landscape, 150 trillion in cross-border payment flow in 2022, 240 billion in cross-border revenues in 2022, and 69% cross-border revenues came from business to business. 10% business to business and business to customer payments increased in 2022 so this is all a little bit old data as you can see it's it's you know it's probably increasing over time but 2027 2030 is really the time frame that i see mass adoption of central bank digital currency you're going to see a lot of announcements over the next two or three years but this is still going to take years guys it's still going to take years unless a massive black swan event happens where the entire financial system goes bust and that can very well happen banks are way over leveraged right now when it comes to office buildings if you hadn't noticed china us uk all of this is really, really bad and underwater, especially in the United States. Buildings are being sold for pennies, but they're coming with 
billions of dollars in debt to buy those buildings, right? Value, these banks are in a lot of trouble. These banks are in a lot of trouble. And unless something happens where the government steps in, your bank could be on a list where the bank is going to fail. I do think personally that you're going to see a lot of banks failing over the next 12 to 24 months because 70% of businesses and office buildings are owned by, the, the real estate is owned by regional banks. And when banks cannot sell those buildings, they can't get people to go in and use those office buildings, they're going to start falling apart and massive write-offs are going to happen. I call bank failures back in 2023 and it's going to happen again here in 2024. Here's Brian Brooks, managing partner at Valor Capital, says Ripple isn't seeking to replace the US dollar. Rather, it aims to transform the value in the transmission system. Hence, it's the price. The price is irrelevant as Google's volatility weighs in its early days. Let me play this. What I always try and tell people is, you know, the, the biggest issue that I always try and focus on is cryptocurrencies are really not about currency. And, and the biggest misunderstanding of this whole discussion is the belief that if crypto is not doing a great job of replacing the U.S. dollar, uh, then crypto is failing in its mission. And what I, what I think we'll talk about a little bit today is the idea that most of crypto is about replacing the centralized banking system with networks that allow user control versus bank CEO control. The crypto assets that have prices are more like internet stocks. It's more like you bet on Google if you think there's gonna be high internet traffic and you short Google if you think people are gonna go back to the post office, right? But it's not that Ethereum or Ripple or anything else is trying to replace the US dollar. It's trying to replace a system of transmitting value. And we'll talk a lot more about that. So for me, the prices are not that relevant any more than Google's volatility is. And in the early days of Google, that was super volatile. The price is irrelevant, guys. What it is, is it's the underlying technology. It's the protocol. That's where the real value is. Valor Ripple XRP. Check this out. Valor, which is not the same as, as what Brian Brooks is working for. Valor XRP is an exchange traded product. ETP tracking the price of XRP, the native token Ripple XRP, the primary enhances global financial transfers and in the exchange of several currencies, swift and environmentally friendly, the digital asset XRP was designed to serve as the most efficient cryptocurrency for diverse applications within the financial sector services. As you can see, AMMs are getting close again. We're back to 74.29. We need a few more votes here to actually get this passed and approved but we are getting very, very close and this should be coming in very, very soon. Analysts are predicting XRP could go to $288. We'll see, right? You need a lot of things to happen for XRP price to break out to this, right? Retail is not gonna send XRP price to $288, right? It's just not going to happen. It's going to take central bank digital currency. It's going to be it's going to be used as the protocol. I mean, to get to a price like this, let, let's just take a look at this, right? What is XRP's price right now, right? XRP's price market cap is 54 cents at 30 billion dollars right even to go to what a hundred dollars you would need to 200x this right you would need to get to trillions and trillions of dollars in market cap to get into the hundreds of dollars in price and to do that we're going to need value being transacted and added and debt and tokenized value you need all of that to happen for xrp even to get close to a hundred dollars we the retail cannot pump this price that high you need utility you need regulation and you need central bank digital currency i know a lot of you don't like central bank digital currency but if you want your xrp to go to five thousand ten thousand dollars that's what you're going to need to do it i'll see you next time aloha